Well, we're inching closer to the tip off here to weigh in on the Aztecs showcase against the Blue Jays is former SDSU men's basketball coach Michael Brunker. So good to see you, Michael. And always good to see you here at KUSI. Oh, thank you. Well, go Aztecs. How are you feeling right now? Tip off 1120? You know, I'm feeling great. And, and, and the city of San Diego is feeling great. So much energy going on in this town right now. But what a great time. March Madness is real. And to still be in the dance is a special thing for everybody involved, players, coaches, fans, the whole community. Look where we're at today. What a special day. And you know the thrill. You have coached in the Sweet 16. I have as an assistant coach with Dick Vitale, Dickie V. And, and so we played at in Lexington, Kentucky, on the campus of the University of Kentucky against then number one, University of Michigan, while I was an assistant, 25 years old at the University of Detroit. We lost by five points, so we didn't get to the Elite Eight which makes it so much special now to see San Diego State there because I coached at San Diego State from 1980 to 87. Yeah, you have a long coaching career. So your thoughts, the fact that San Diego State is making it this far, the first time in history to the Elite Eight. Well, not only do I have a long history, but let me just go back to the last segment you ran with Al Schaefer. A lot of people in San Diego might not know who Al is. That's the legendary Al Schaefer, a Hall of Fame coach, high school coach out of the state of Michigan. He moved to Ramona did great things at Ramona High School, and, but he befriended Steve Fisher and Brian Dutcher. They brought him into the fold, and he's been a, 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 you know, a consultant with the team ever since. So uh, great wisdom, and I think that's the spirit of what we have right now. The, the teams that are in the Elite Eight right now, man, they're so good. But to think that San Diego State is there, and I truly believe they can win the national championship. What do they need to do? They just need to come and play, and they have to believe. Everybody talks about when you go to the A-House Arena and everybody says, I, I believe that we can win. You have to continue believing. Don't stop believing. Journey wrote, sang a song about that, don't stop believing. But this is the time to keep believing in what you can do. What I love about San Diego State is they go so deep in their lineup. In every game, it's a different player stepping up. And one special player that I really admire a lot is the one they call AG, number 33. And he's a member of my men's prayer group at St. Therese. And so we've actually prayed over AG at the time two years ago when he went through the shoulder injury, the knee injury, the hip injury. Didn't know if he wanted to continue playing. But when you watch the spirit that he plays with every time he steps between the line, diving on loose balls, doing everything it takes to win, that's the difference in winning and losing. And so I truly believe, what do we need to do? It comes down to this. It's really simple. Run the court guard somebody and make your layups. If we run more than they do, we're going to win. If we guard better than they do, we're going to win. And if we make our layups, three-point shot is great, but you make those shots right around the hoop, it's going to make a big difference in the outcome of the game. And where are you watching the game, and who are you watching it with? My <laughs> wife and I, Maria and I, are going to be going to the home of uh, Ken and Margie Blanchard. We watched the games the other night, and Ken said, you got to come back on Sunday. And we have thought we had a conflict because we have an event on Sunday, tonight, but the game is at 11:20, and Ken calls up quickly and he says, "Be sure you come. We can do it earlier right now." So that's the key. But I think right now, the beauty of this, Teresa, right now is we have fans all throughout San Diego County. Only 12,000 people can go and watch an Aztec home game, but today. Everybody affiliated with San Diego State, with the city of San Diego, the state of California is going to be watching this big one. All right. Now let's talk about your kicks. What's going on with these oh, yeah. Aztec kicks? Well, a lot of people don't realize, but in 1985, I was a part of the staff with Smoky Games. We were the last team that went to the NCAA tournament before Steve Fisher arrived. And we lost in the first round to UNLV, coached by Jerry Tarkanian. They had a great run. But these are a pair of the shoes that were worn in 1985. So I don't want to date myself <laughs> and make it look old. But I'll tell you what, the game has changed so much. Even that Sweet 16 run that we had 46 years ago at the University of Detroit, back then there wasn't 68 teams in the tournament. There was only 32. And, so, and, and there wasn't TV like it is today. There wasn't no TNT and you know all these other sports. It was only NBC is when that game was broadcast. And so the impact of the game being televised, being seen, is going to really help San Diego State nationally. 
in terms of now with the transfer portal and all the players that have the ability to look at San Diego and San Diego State and join this great program into the future. All right. And how are you feeling in the shoes right now? You wearing these them to the party? Are, uh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> it, 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 these are something you can't buy. And so they say Aztecs on the back. We wore these, and, and I'm an Aztec fan, Aztec for life. All right. Michael Brunker, so Thank good to you see so you. Much. Go Aztecs. Amen. All right. All right Bless man. you and your family, and enjoy your time today. Appreciate you. Of course. All right.